everyone, so Padawan Obi-Wan released today, and I know that there are a lot of other creators um, and people on Reddit and on Discord who are getting really kind of pissed off about the whole um, uh, Datacron thing um, and the exclusive Datacron. Um, we're not going to talk about that tonight, or I guess this morning by the time I release this, um, because honestly, I don't think it's really that big of a deal. If we really think about it, only the people who are at the higher end of Kyber One um, are really... I don't want to say interacting with that data crime because I know I'm going to see it in K2 and I know that people are going to see it in K3, but it's only going to really make a difference to that high end group who are at the very top um, and, and fighting for scraps uh, of ROI from all of the things that they're spending anyway. So for those of us sitting, you know, comfortably in K2, K3, K, maybe the, the bottom end of K1, it's really not going to make a difference when you're looking at that 50% uh, win rate. What I am here to talk to you about though tonight is the Omicron for Padawan Obi-Wan, which I was actually a supporter of uh, fairly early on. Uh, once we got release of it on Monday night, I have gone on record multiple times saying, hey, this looks like a really great thing um, for people who are maybe in the four to seven or maybe four to eight million uh, GP range for them to be able to punch up a couple of feats, maybe earn a new box or, or two new boxes over what they're already earning. However, today I took a little bit of a closer look into it. I did some math, I did some research, and I'm starting to realize there isn't actually that much going on um, in terms of feat tracking. Now, you have no argument for me that there are some really cool things uh, going on other than the feats. So let's kind of just read through it together first before we talk about those things, All right? His unique, once we get uh, his Omicron, allies gain 10% max health and max protection and 30 speed. Allies gain an additional 10% max health and max protection for each relic amplifier level Padawan Obi-Wan has. Cut the offense of Sith enemies in half until the end of the battle. Now that alone sounds really cool, and I can definitely see that being helpful to somebody that's on the lower end. But this next part of it is where people were starting to go, hey, wait a second, this can really help me out. Padawan Obi-Wan has a 50% chance to take a bonus turn whenever an enemy ends their turn. When Padawan Obi-Wan starts the bonus turn, allies recover 75% health, gain 75% offense for two turns, and enemies are inflicted with buff immunity and healing immunity for two turns, which can't be resisted. Super great, again, on its own. If Padawan Obi-Wan's stamina is 50% or greater, whenever an ally uses a special ability, they inflict accuracy down, critical chance down, critical damage down, defense down, evasion down, offense down, potency down, <sighs> speed down, Stagger and Tenacity down on target enemy for two turns, which can't be evaded. If Padawan Obi-Wan's stamina is 50% or greater, whenever Padawan Obi-Wan uses a special ability, allies gain accuracy up, crit chance up, crit damage up, defense up, evasion up, offense up, potency up, speed up, and ten ta 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 tenacity up for two turns. This is where people were starting to say, wait a second, this is really great for feats, right? We can kick ass if I'm dropping all of these feats with one term, uh, with one team. And I fell into that trap just uh, just as much as everybody else did. But again, we took a closer look today, and this is kind of what we found out. So here are all of the feats, uh, all of the debuffs and buffs that you are getting with Padawan Obi-Wan, right? There are 10 buffs, no, 10 debuffs, nine buffs, right? Looks super awesome. But we're gonna move this over and we're gonna kind of change things around for a second to kind of um, give you a better look at what this looks like. What I did earlier today is I went through the conquest volume trackers from 14, which is the current one, Queen Amidala, all the way down to seven, right? So we're looking at three, six, nine, 12, 15, 18, 21, 24 months ago, a whole two years versus um, full of feats. What you're gonna see is a lot of red. And that red is where these buffs didn't show up at all, right? The green is obviously where those buffs or debuffs have shown up. And the yellow is a little bit more interesting. The reason evasion up is in yellow is because um, in Conquest Volume 7, it did show up as um, a buff that you needed to get. Past that, we've always seen something along the, along the lines of um, 
get a hundred evades in battles that you've won. So clearly evasion up will help with something like that, but there are other options, right? With GMY having foresight and pretty much foresight gets spread pretty, pretty heavily, heavy handedly with Galactic Republic teams as it is, plus just the natural um, ability to dodge as well. So not 100% discrediting evasion up, but I am going to put that huge yellow asterisk there. So if we take this and we filter out all of those buffs and debuffs that aren't ever there, this is kind of what we end up with. And you'll notice that there's now a lot more yellow, right? If we go back to that second sheet, there's a lot of red, a little bit of green, a lot less yellow. And when I bring this over to the third sheet, we see a lot more yellow. Why is that? Potency down. Padawan Obi-Wan does it on basic. Okay, so he's going to be knocking that out plenty no matter what. It doesn't matter that he gets that um, with his Omicron at all. Crit chance up. All Galactic Republic allies get that when he uses his special. Okay, now I'm not saying for the most part you have to use him with only Galactic Republic allies or Galactic Republic Jedi allies, but I am saying that he is going to knock that counter up regardless. Okay, critical damage up, and this one's a little bit easier for him. His allies get critical hit. Padawan Obi Wan gains this for one turn. So as people are taking hits, he's knocking this out with his unique all the time. The same thing with defense up. He's kind of like the new um, Clone Wars Chewie, except he doesn't have to be in the leader slot. So that's kind of getting knocked out naturally by having him in the team. You don't need the Omicron for that. And again, with offense up, all Galactic Republic Jedi allies get this on his special. So we're gonna bring this down to our final sheet to see what this Omicron actually gives a person that they're not already getting, right? We see that there's two debuffs and two buffs. Stagger, evasion down, potency up, and evasion up. Now, I put some stuff down there at the bottom as well. Potency up, Old Ben does this on basic, Greedo does this on basic, and CT Rex does this on basic. Evasion down, Old Ben does that on basic, and Chupio does that on basic, right? JML is a really, really good um, and very common early galactic legend and if you have jedi master luke and that's going to be one of the the ways to kind of cheese with padawan obi-wan anyway but if you have jedi master luke you're going to have access to old ben right um you're going to have access to chupios so you're going to have access to very common very cheeses that are uh, very easy cheeses that are already available to you if you're thinking about whaling on this, it is unlikely that you're not in a position where you don't already have some core teams built up. Even if you don't have Jedi Master Luke, Old Ben is a very easy character to get to G12. He's an old character. He doesn't require any type of Kyrotech investment up until that point. And Chupio is part of one of the, the, the earliest and strongest core teams that a person can build for assault battles and for GAC and for Conquest, um, and for, geez, I can't remember the name, Assault Battles, right? Maybe I said that already, I don't know, but I'm not gonna find out because I won't listen to my own voice. So what that leaves us with is Stagger and Evasion Up. Now again, there's still a huge asterisk on Evasion Up because you're naturally getting evades, um, and there are a lot of super common options for those evades as well. Stagger is one that people do already have a lot of turn, uh, have a lot of trouble with, especially since CG has upped the ante from 60 per conquest to somewhere, I believe, 300 in the last uh, conquest cycle. The last time it was seen was in Con Conquest Volume 13. The thing is, though, if we look back at this unique. Right? Anytime an ally uses a special ability, they inflict all of these things on the target enemy, which means that if you're trying to get 300 stagger just using Padawan out of Obi-Wan, it is going to be a slow process. Now, make no mistake, yes, right? Like, he takes a lot of bonus turns with that Conquest Omicron, um, and if you have Jedi Master Luke, you're going to be able to use specials pretty much every turn 
um, with the granted special that JML has, and it is going to start stacking those pretty considerably. But the reality is if you have relic teams, it is gonna be very hard to find nodes where you're not, not knocking things out quickly by using offensive specials constantly, right? So this is kind of a case where Padawan Obi-Wan is gonna to wanna to be low to take advantage of something like this. And once you start actually investing in the character, it's gonna be a lot harder to get those staggers in each battle. Unless you get really lucky with a boss node, sometimes CG throws us a bone on those, but it really depends on how nice or how mean they, they, they are feeling in that three month cycle. So now with all of that said, I am not saying that this Omicron won't be useful in the future. It could 100% be put there in uh, a fashion where Conquest 15, we are gonna see a lot more of these feats popping up. But what I am saying is maybe don't apply it just yet because there is a lot of smoke and mirrors in terms of what it's giving a player. And there's a lot less that we're actually seeing as players or have seen in the last two years, right? Again, maybe in the future, maybe next month, maybe I'll have to delete this video, maybe a uh, hundred angry people are gonna message me on Discord, maybe the event server is gonna have some kind of stupid title that they're gonna associate with this so that a thousand people can be conned out of 20 Omicron material. All I'm saying is don't get conned into it for all of these feet um, abilities when it's not so much uh, when we look at a historic view of conquest, right? Um, no argument on, on some of the other um, benefits to it, but that's no different than Sorty already does, right, with the Conquest Omicron. And after two years of her being out, there's only, I think, like 8,000 that have been applied, right? If you disagree, let me know. If you agree, let me know. If you have a different take, please, if you have some information that I don't have, I'd love to hear it. Uh, drop it in the comments, hit us up on Discord, it's in the show notes, it's in our YouTube profile. Um, if you like my dope ass hoodie, please tell me. And with that said, peace out.